guys and welcome back to vlogmas day 20. i am alexia nicole and i'm living my life by design now i have slept all day it is now 5 44 p.m in new york and i'm literally just getting out the bed took a shower i'm about to attempt to go grocery shop with serena and she wants to go to bed bath and beyond or something so i was like let me pull out the camera let me try to record something. I was just having the best day laying in bed. I haven't even ate anything today. I've just been drinking water. Like, that's how lazy I have been. Y'all, Serena's like, I'm outside of your place. I ordered the Uber. And I'm like, you're not out here. I call her. I'm like, where are you? She's like, I'm at your place. I'm like, you must have forgot that I moved. <laughs> so now, I get to walk halfway up the block to the old apartment. Yay. To the man who still has not given me my deposit back don't get me started <laughs> all right y'all serena and i just ate some subway and now we're going are we going say hi to serena hi like we're shoe twins oh they're not working no <laughs> it's perfect for my glutes maximus <laughs> so guess what guys serena's trying to go keto again <laughs> and about a scale. And a scale. Totally. So how often are you going to weigh yourself? Um, maybe like twice a week in the morning. Twice a week? Okay. We'll see. Now she's dragging me to uh, TJ Maxx. It says that it was down, but... Oh, it's, oh, it's up. Oh, the arrow is just pointing down for the down elevator. That's, that's deceiving. <laughs> but yeah. So we're out and yeah, I guess that's the up elevator, but it makes it seem like it's saying that Coles is up, you know? But we're at Rego Park. The only place it has an Aldi. An Aldi. I've never actually been in the Aldi. I've been in Aldi's before, but. Aldi is a German grocery store. Oh, it's German? Uh-huh. Oh. And it's out of the Midwest, so the fact that it's even on either coast is a big deal because they're not, they're very tiny. The first place I saw Aldi, I think, store. was in Florida. This is the first place I saw them. We have them in Houston, too, but. We have a bunch in I'm Illinois. an H-E-B girl. A what? H-E-B, it's a Texas grocery store. See? I don't know. No. Because I'm a Texas girl. All right, let's go do a little more shopping. Look what Serena just found me. Ketones in every cup. Keto Cafe, Ketogenic Creamer, Grass-Fed Butter, Coconut Oils, and Himalayan Salt. I should really Google. How much is it? Ten. Nine ninety-nine. Is it expired? Expires eight twenty-one, like August twenty-first or August of two thousand twenty-one. <laughs> So, 8 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of sugar. Should I? Does it have a flavor or no? It's just... It's like, um, it's just, it's just sweet. What do y'all think? Should I try it? Well, it doesn't match my shirt. My good is different shirt. Oh, y'all, I forgot to pull the good deed today before I came. I'm going to get on my good deeds tomorrow. And I still need to read y'all the reason for the season Bible verse for today. So don't let me forget. Oh, there's another. It's, oh, there's more. Hold on. dollars for the big old Hershey's? Oh, I knew it. How much? Cashier number 12, please. Look at that. Have a good night. Thank you. I can't even. You're going to have to edit this. <laughs> we edit everything. Okay, y'all. So this is a little goodbye portion. <laughs> This is Haley. Hi. Haley was the most junior one in our class. If y'all go back and watch my videos during training, I'm pretty sure you were like, I know you were in one of them. I hope At so. least, yeah, you were. Um, but Haley is leaving us. Tell me where you're going. I'm going to Australia. Okay, I mean leaving as in she's quitting. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> like she's leaving the flight attendant world. She's fun. It's what been a year and a half basically. And she's going on to pursue other dreams and goals. So what are you doing? I'm going to Australia and I'm going to a discipleship training school. Oh. And a discipleship training school? Yeah. It's in Australia. Yeah. Okay. For three months. For three months. And then I travel the world for another three months. 
Uh huh. And I go back to Australia. Uh huh. And then I'll be done in July. And then she's done in July. And then she's gonna do some family things. So what do you do after the discipleship training school? Like is we that do our outreach, which is the three months around the world. Okay. It's like a missions trip, but for yeah. three months. And then after that. That's it. That's it. Until you decide what else you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's kind of cool, y'all. So, well, so you see, everybody doesn't stay a flight attendant forever, like I was mentioning the other day. <laughs> <laughs> She's moving on to bigger and better things for her life. Discipleship training. That sounds kind of cool, though. Yeah. If I wasn't so old, I would probably go do that. But I you need, can, like, you're not even that old. girl, bye. I need, <laughs> like, stability at this point in my life. Because, what, you're 22. Two. All right, y'all. So, say bye to Haley. Bye. Oh, I'm scared. Bye, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Serena's not going anywhere. No, I got my shirt on and everything. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. All right, guys. Back to the crash pad. Did a little grocery shopping. Got some spring mix. Some cauliflower rice. Oh. Scripts. AKA shrimp. Um, little cherry tomato. Cucumber. Fresh mozzarella. Um, I ended up buying this keto creamer from um, TJ Maxx, so I'm going to take it with me and see if I like it. Uh, oh, yeah. And an avocado. And I bought a new toiletry bag because my other one is busting out of the seams so I'll cook tomorrow before my trip my trip is at I think my report is like 3 30 p.m. or something tomorrow so I'll wake up in the morning I need to get like some meat to go with my cauliflower rice then I'm gonna make my favorite salad and I have my chia seed pudding ingredients already up here so that's gonna be my meal prep I'm just gonna do the three easy things that I know I like to eat and they're easy to keep fresh and yeah that's it so let me put this stuff away and then we can do reason for the season Bible verse all right guys so I just wanted to show y'all my current toiletry bag is this one and it is literally like busting at the seams like I can hardly zip this anymore so I was showing y'all this one so I just kind of want to see how everything is gonna fit in here hopefully it works out good a little a little contraception um, oh there's no pockets on oh yeah yes there is okay I can slide that in there okay like look at how all this stuff is in here <laughs> that's so funny okay so the only thing that I don't really like about this one is that it doesn't have like a lot of different compartments, but we're just gonna make this work, okay? Um, conditioner, floss, so that's that. Where's my toothpaste? I've showed y'all my Just Jack's toothpaste. I have one that I use in morning and night. One is, um, an activated charcoal that I use at night and then when it's just original formula um, I really like this toothpaste this is empty I need to order another one um, my retainer retainers plural okay actually no this might be big enough to use as my makeup bag and toiletry bag that'll be nice so I'm just gonna leave those on that side. So I have my fresh soy cleanser. Um, I have a different cleanser, Peter Thomas Raw. And do I wanna stand these up in here? I don't know. We'll just lay everything down for now. Um, my kombucha essence my rose hydration toner um, i have a little bit of micellar water i think it's going to work better if i stand everything up in here it'll be a little more spacious um 
my under eye brightening cream. And literally all of these products I use every day. So this isn't just stuff. I have my face oil. This is what I put on my, not, my face at night because I don't do moisturizer. I just do the face oil. This is my Peter Thomas Roth Potency Serum. I put this on once daily. It is amazing. It's $100 and it better be amazing. <laughs> I do have multiple moisturizers. This is just my um, daily go-to moisturizer. This is the Rose Deep Hydration Face Moisturizer, Face Cream from Fresh. Um, this is a Peter Thomas Roth one. This, <laughs> okay. So this one I use like if I'm working or actually leaving the house because this really keeps my face super moisturized. This one I'll just put on because this this one I'll just put on like if I'm staying in the house and not really going anywhere because um, it doesn't like moisturize as much, but it's still pretty good. And then this is my Glam Glow moisturizer. It's actually um, like tinted. Y'all can see that. So I put this on, usually on top of one of the other moisturizers, kind of like a highlighter. It gives you that natural glow and it smells really good too. Um, deodorant, I'll put this on this side. And these are my travel size shampoo and conditioner. Not that I have to travel with travel size. As y'all can see, as flight attendants, we get to go through our KCM and they don't, we don't have restrictions on that type of stuff. But I just like to use these because, you know, all these big bottles that I have, it just, it can get kind of heavy. Um, so that's that in here. This is just a conditioner, so I'll throw that in there. And then I have some cotton balls and Q-tips. I'm going to actually put these in a little baggie and then inside of here. I have my razor as well. Y'all know what that is for, clearly. And then I have some travel size face masks that I use. I bought this um, at Sephora. It came with six of them. And they're just little travel size ones. I had the full bottles, the full jars of them, and they got lost when my bag when my bags got lost coming back from Paris. So I use these little travel size ones. And I do about a face mask a night. So I'll throw those in there. Um, yeah, that's really, oh, one more face mask, and that's really it, so this bag actually still has quite a bit of space, which is good, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it's dark on the inside, so that makes it hard to find things, but I could potentially put my makeup on one side, and then all my, um, just skincare products on the other so that's good but I won't do that for now we'll just we'll see how this goes so yeah this little bag I got from TJ Maxx today it's by can y'all see that it's by Steve Madden and it was $20 but I like this now because this thing was beginning to drive me insane um, but yeah so that is that um, let's go ahead and do the reason for the season Bible verse of Luke 2, 41 through 51. And the title is The Boy Jesus at the Temple. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. They began looking for him among the relatives and friends, and when they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple court, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. 
Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. Amen. Love that story. I don't think I've ever read that, y'all. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it a night for Vlogmas Day 20. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm trying to get back into the routine of things, being back in New York <laughs> and trying to get back in the mode of work. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. And I will actually finally, finally, it's, go it's going into 20 days of December. <laughs> and I will finally be flying for the first time this month. That's crazy because y'all know my vlogs. Like, I'm usually flying pretty often. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Until tomorrow, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.